Honduras general elections are currently underway. Over 5 million Hondurans are called to the polls to decide the future of the nation. With more details about the ongoing elections, we have our special envoy in the Central American nation, Carlos Montero. Hi, good morning from Tegucigalpa. From very early this morning, 7.30, they open the places where people can vote. They are going to be open until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So far, everything is going smoothly. Only a few places, there were some problems. They're going to start a little bit later, but the places that start late, they have a chance to be open for nine hours. That's the law from this country. Important election for Honduras, important election for this country who really have a lot of economic problem. 50% of the population is under the poverty line. They have problem with the COVID. COVID hurt this country pretty hard. They have problem with a lot of people leaving this country, going to the USA, looking for a better life. There are 14 candidates running in this election for president, uh, but there are only two who has uh, possibilities to win this election. One is the party from the actual government, government, the National Party. Tito Asfura is the candidate. He was the Tegucigalpa mayor. He was pretty popular in this uh, city. On the other side, the other candidate that has possibilities is Samara Castro. Samara Castro, she's the leader of a coalition of left-wing uh, parties, and she's promising the Honduran people that things are going to be changed if she's elected president. She would be, if she wins, the first female president of this country. She's pretty well known in Honduras. Her husband in 2009 was victim of a coup, and she was one of the political leaders who tried to mobilize this community to defend her husband, but since then, the National Party been in power. We are going to be following this election very closely, and we are going to follow and inform you of any things that's going on. And i tell you one more time, 4 o'clock, they are going to close all the polls, and we are going to give you the information as soon as we know what's going on. Going back to you at the studios.